In this video, we're going to look at some quick worked examples of expanding single brackets. We might be asked to expand 2 and then the bracket x plus 4. All we need to do is multiply everything on the outside by everything on the inside. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply 2 by x. Both of these are positive, that's going to give us 2x. I'm now going to multiply 2 by 4. Both of these are positive, so that's going to be 8. So we've expanded the bracket. The question might ask you to multiply out. Multiplying out and expanding are the same things. Factoring is the opposite to expanding. So if we were asked to factor this, we would put it back into a set of brackets like this one. So let's look at another one. 3, the bracket x minus 5. We multiply the 3 by the x. Both of these are positive. That will give me 3x. We multiply the 3 by the 5. 1 is positive, 1 is negative, so we're going to have a negative. 3 times by 5 will give me 15. So we have 3x minus 15. If we had now 4 and then 1 minus x, we would do 4 times by 1. Both of those are positive. Then we'd do 4 times by x. 1 is positive, 1 is negative, so we'd have minus 4x. If we multiply a positive by a negative, our answer will be negative. Let's look at minus 2, and then we might have now x minus 4. So I'm going to multiply the minus 2 by the x. I've got one positive one and one negative, so this will be negative. The minus 2 by the minus 4, both of these are negative, so we're going to have a positive. So if I expand the bracket, we end up now with minus 2x plus 8. If I had minus 5, and then in here I had minus x plus 4, we would multiply this out. Minus 5 times minus x, both are negative, so our answer would be positive. We'd have 5x, then I'm going to do the minus 5 times by positive 4, which would give me minus 20. Let's look at another example. Let's say we had x multiplied by x plus 4. If we multiply this out, x times by x is x squared. Sometimes students put 2x here. Don't fall into that trap, it's x squared. Then we're going to multiply the x by the 4, both are positive, so we get plus 4x. If we had now x and then we had 2x minus 1, x multiplied by 2x is going to give me 2x squared. x multiplied by minus 1 is going to give me minus x. So a slightly harder example there. Let's say we had now 2x multiplied by 3x plus 4. If I multiply 2x by 3x, I'm going to have 2 times by 3, which is 6. x times x is x squared. 2x multiplied by 4, both positive, we're going to get plus 8x. So all we've done is gone ahead and expanded. Let's look at a slightly harder one. Let's take minus x, and then we'll have now x minus 3. If I multiply these two, I'm going to get minus x squared. x times x is x squared. I'm multiplying a negative by a positive. I'm now going to multiply minus x by minus 3. That's going to give me plus 3x. I've got two negatives, so I end up with a positive. So these are some basic examples of expanding single brackets.